announcement we are back live with some more action this is the sixth fight of the night it is Shed Alam versus Muneeb Khan from team BCL Lahore what do you think after that my god throwback city when has BCL and TFF happened since like 2010 or something I don't know boy, here we go why am I glad to have you on the mic <laughs> here we go Shed Alam in the black Muneeb Khan in the red Muneeb opening up with some inside leg kicks Ooh, that don't land. Nice, nice leg kick there, rear leg kick by Sher Alam. Yes, sir. I think he, I think he's going to go do it again. That's a good option. He's made him think about it, if nothing else. Inside leg kick attempts there, Muneeb Khan, not successful. Sher Alam in the black shorts. Muneeb Khan in the red and with white trim. Again, attempting it, not completing it. Jab touches Sher Alam. Nice oh, little push kick one, there. Two there. Moves out the way. Sher Alam is looking very, very relaxed. He's measuring. He's waiting. He, I think he's just like Ooh, learning things. One, two, man's God. clean. Sher Alam relaxed here. Sher Alam confident. He, that, of course, made his debut at Flogger Series 5. That was a crisp one, two. He lands a head kick as well. And now you have to, you have to be wary that, that he has a Taekwondo black belt and he is very well versed in that art like that's what he teaches there as well Ooh. spinning back kick to the head that just missed taekwondo black belt share alam here i probably don't know as much that taekwondo Ooh. as i oh. as much as these oh. guys nasty oh, punishing leg kicks there he had to he forced him to react absolutely. two amazingly timed hard leg kicks there by munib khan absolutely and that was smart on his part as well recognizing that chair alam, Sher alam has the better and crisper striking, so he went to the leg. But Sher Alam landing that crisp one too. God, did he rock him with that, didn't he? I think he did. That was both fighters right now have had excellent, excellent opportunities to show their stuff here. Absolutely. Good one too by Sher Alam. Those leg kicks, they echoed throughout the center here. They were nasty. You could feel him all the way to the top of the roof here. Absolutely, absolutely. Now what this is doing is giving, I mean. I recognize that he's been hit in the privates, in the jewels. No one likes that. Nobody. Um, it's giving both recovery fighters. time to for both, both fighters. fighters. Absolutely. The leg and the little, you know, yeah. clear the cobwebs for Yeah, just get Muneeb. Don't be hazy when you're fighting Sher Alam. Never. Anyone from TFF, man, their striking is legit. You got to be careful of it. Muneeb Khan could go to the obvious answer that every fighter tries to give to a TFF wow, fighter. That right hand. That's a takedown, but this looks like it's going to be a striking exchange. Yes, sir. Oh, good outside leg kick. Sher Alam lands points. Very oh! Nice. Looks low, go high. Head kick attempt. Another inside leg kick. Muneeb Khan is smart. Oh. I think he could finish. Oh, my goodness. It's a kicking his battle. Yes, it is. And this is really smart work from Muneeb. He knows that that's the money. Oh! Sher Alam lands there. They are swinging. Sher Alam lands with the right cross. Again, goes high with a head kick. Deep Push kick, God again. gets free though. Absolutely. Referee Samir Jatt watching this fight intently. Ooh. We all we, we we know the game plan for Muneeb is to go that go to that leg. 
We can tell by now, yeah. We can tell by now. And Jer Allen being the more versatile final eats the right hand oh, over the top. Oh! And sends one back of his own. Excellent exchanges here. Hide the China. The boys are going at it. <laughs> My God. The mouthpiece is out, I believe. Oh, it is out. How did he reach there? Sher Alam didn't even care. He was just fighting. Good, <laughs> good ref work from the Jut. <laughs> the Jut, yes. The Jut. Let's remember that one. Here we go again. Sher Alam looks really calm, man. Ten seconds left in the round. Nice body kick. Nice right hand over the top again. Charlem oh, secures it with a takedown at the end. Very smart work. That is excellent way to make sure he wins the round. Yep. And he does. Yep. I think. I believe he does, but you. It, it was. Just, it, it, it was, was close. Yeah. It was close. I'll say that. And I think, but I think the takedown at the end sort of secured it, ish. Yeah. You know. The striking exchanges were good. They were. They were more or less even. Yeah, what an interesting round, man. Um, Sherlin secured it at the end with a takedown. In my opinion, obviously, I could be wrong there. Um, of course, Muneeb Khan wants to attack, wants to attack the leg. He definitely thinks that that's the money for him. And we had a little accident there. Um, a corner man just slipped over, but he's all good. He's back to cornering. Here we go. The third round. So far, leg kicks to eliminate the legs of the Taekwondo black belt. How do you rate that as a as a strategy for Muneeb Khan. Brilliant, actually. Ooh. Oh, he's literally, as soon as the fight starts, he's back oh. at it again. And Charlem threw that just to make him stop kicking him, you know, kicking yeah, Charlem. Show him that he can do the same thing. Yeah, but obviously, Muneeb's game plan in his camp would have been to attack the leg. And there you go, he's doing a really good job. Oh, that sort made of a noise. Just, yeah, the toe is sort of just crossing through. He's really attacking. You can see the back of the knee of Sher Alam starting to swell now. There's a little bit of redness there as well. Thank oh, you. Oh, here we go. Lands a one-two as well. He's trying to land. Sher Alam knows that he needs to take this to the ground now. That's his best bet, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Big takedown. Sher Alam showing versatility in his game. He's shown us head kicks, leg kicks, one-twos and takedowns. It's interesting. He is a taekwondo uh, background, so you would have thought he's a striker. He, he's got. He's going to be, you know, out striking. But he's showing that he's good at the game of MMA. He's recognized that Muneeb is landing those leg kicks, and he's gone to take him down to win the fight. And if this is your, the second fight in your career, you just want to win the fight. Absolutely. Take no damage. Maybe not even give any damage. Just get the win. Just get the win clean. And this is the best strategy to do so. Absolutely. Keep him at bay. Keep him throwing those leg kicks. And as soon as the opportunity presents itself, Sher Alam goes for the takedown. True. And, and it does look right now, now that he's he, that, it does look right now that he is setting up an arm bar. He's trying to step over the head. Possibly could go for a Kimura as well. So fake that and go for a Kimura. Either one. It does look like that's what he's trying to do right now. But um, trying Muneeb, to tie up those arms there. He's trying to grab both arms, put him under his left arm. Muneeb is in some kind of trouble. If Sheram postures up and releases those legs, you can go for an arm bar. Absolutely, you are correct. And what I also see is that Maneeb is doing well to keep his arms to himself, like a dinosaur. You know, that's what you got to do. Um, Don't give any limbs to your opponent when they're on top of you. He's, rank, he's cranking he now. He needs to turn into him because this is a dangerous position for Maneeb right now. And Sher Alam has obviously got uh, better knowledge on the ground. Of course, amateur fights, no elbows, no knees to the head. That is correct. So this this could be something you could do, but Sheralem has that neck secured by his right arm. I think he's satisfied with it. I think he's trying to turn over. This is good stuff here by Sher Alam. If he, he might be able to get a Dars, but I, I, I don't think he's wary of it. That's okay, though, because he's still in a good position. He's in the favorable position. He's the of better course, of the two. Of course, he's doing a good job here, just staying there. Just Start. sweet signs of Jiu-Jitsu, and they are still on the ground if you're just joining us Sher Alam in the back black trunks on top of Muneeb Khan in the white trunks with red trim or vice versa 
And he has moved into mount now. Started That's to put himself back in great there. Great position wow. there for him. He might be able to finish. I think he's an arm triangle. That's the time. That is the round. We go into the third and final round once again. Saved by the bell, I think, right? He had that arm triangle in. I think he was trying to transition over, get himself away from his opponent's body so he can apply pressure to that arm triangle. But nonetheless, good showing here by both guys, I would say. Sher Alam, of course, with the more complete performance. But Muneeb Khan has the game plan now. What do you think he can do differently in the next round? He needs to be wary of that takedown. As long as he's wary of that takedown, he could potentially finish the fight with the leg kicks. But again, Sher Alam comes from a good team, a good solid coaching team that know how to win fights. Exactly. They have worked on the game plan. As you can see, when the striking didn't work, they went to the wrestling. As for Muneeb, as we said, do not get taken down, carry on beating that leg. Because he has, he has uh, sort of stopped all of Sher Alam's striking attack. Yeah. And it's all because of that leg kick. It's not because Sher Alam can't do it, it's because he stopped it with those leg kicks. Exactly, he's making him think about his leg, so he doesn't throw it as liberally, he doesn't try to move in as liberally. Now he's, he is a little hurt as well. And we go into the third and final round. This has been an interesting affair. Sher Alam mixing it up. Strikes, takedowns, Muneeb Khan, punishing that leg, but let's see if it can pay off. Immediately goes from the inside leg kick as soon as the round starts. It is a good fight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, nice kick there, responded by Sher Alam. Yes, he responds with a kick of his own, and um, it's a bit of a kicking exchange at the moment, isn't it? Oh, Lance cross one, one two. two. And again, back in on the takedown, overcommitted by Muneeb. Oh, and a takedown for Sher Alam, that is crucial. And gets punished for that overcommitment. Muneeb Khan thought he finally had some rhythm in those strikes. Sher Alam, black, black belt in Taekwondo and all, refuses to make this into a striking match. Smarter, smarter approach, I would say. Absolutely. He could potentially go for a, he could potentially go for a Von Flew here because um, Muneeb's arm is over the head and back area of Sher Alam. Um, if I'm Sher Alam, I feel comfortable in this position because I can look at my corner. Fazan Khan Sadduzai, Zia Mashwani, Heather Sati, those are good names to have in your corner Absolutely. for your second amateur fight, I would say. Jeez, I would love to have Fazan Khan in my corner, I'll tell yeah. you what. So that's a good corner there. And he's, he's, got the, he's getting the best advice he could possibly get. He's using his shoulder to put pressure on his head right now, to make him look the other way. That's the reason why Muneeb can't get up as well. And I think also it's a bit of you know, the knowledge aspect that, you know, he's he's better versed on the ground than Muneeb. For sure. And he's doing a good job. He's doing a very good job framing on his on, on him on his opponent right now with his forearm. And he, he needs to, yeah, as his corner said, land those strikes, stay busy, so Ooh. that the ref does not stop or make you stand up, which is annoying. Some shots are close to the ear. Now some more to the temple. Sher Alam's putting it on now, starting to put on some pressure with those strikes. So this, like you said, they don't get stood up. That's bad for Sher Alam. He's in the advantageous position right now. Absolutely, I do see him cruising here though to uh, a win. If you are watching on the mic, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe wherever you're watching, support the podcast. We work really, really hard. And right now, Sher Alam's working on top position in the black. Of course, Muneeb Khan in the red with black, with white, with white trim, pardon me. And he is raining down shots now with Sher Alam. This is nearing the end. If he finishes here, of course, he solidified his win here. This is a good performance. Muneeb Khan came in with that game plan to attack the legs, and he completely shut down Charlem striking because of those leg oh, strikes. But Charlem, nice. the stronger fighter, pressure to finish it up. Found. My God, Charlem, I would say it is all over. Has finished what him. Good Did not let it go to a decision. Charlem finishes him with on top, and that is indeed all she wrote. Great ground and pound at the end by Sherallam. Good performance all around. See, that was that was the story of the fight. When he came out and he had a game plan, it was a smart game plan. And, and had it had he been able to defend the takedowns, I think it would have worked. But Sher Alam, he adjusted right away. Went for the takedown, went to the wrestling. You could see that the advancements he's made in his game. Uh, over time because of course he was recognized mainly as a striker but he and a, with a taekwondo black belt but he came in and he changed it up after getting punished the legs it was a smart smart it was smart work on both ends smart work by Manib because he thought that he could stop the attack and smart work by Sher Alam because he went in and changed it up wrestled him and took him down good good fight and great performance by Sher Alam to get another win
that was a good fight, man. I was cornering Shir Alam, so I had a lot of fun because <laughs> this guy listens to his corner, man. Absolutely. Man. I was enjoying I could see him. that. I could see he was yeah. listening to his corner, like everything. He was even looking at you guys, you yeah. know? He was very calm. That's, that's what I loved about this fight, that, you know, in the in, in chaos, chaos. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Samir Jan has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes 44 seconds. with that electrifying announcement. Jesus, what a fight, what a night it's been already. Five fights in.